but all all is oh oh i was i mean maybe i shouldn't have said it i was like all is imperfectly perfect for like we're threading a wire here <laughs> Well, and I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm not connected to a direct uh, modem line either. So if, uh, if it's going to be easier to do just the audio call, I know for your purposes, you're, you're trying to record this. Is that right? Yeah. Um, let's, let's just give it, give it a shot. If, 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 if it fails, then we'll just try again for audio. Totally. Sounds good. Okay. <laughs> it's, so, it's so funny. <laughs> Wild. I, I don't think I've used Skype since 2018. That's why I didn't, I had a 2018 password that I was trying to, it's, anyways, it's that, good to. <laughs> yeah, that's funny because like I, when we set this up, I, I checked cause I mean, I know I, I mean, I had the same feeling. It feels like we're using that ancient technology here. <laughs> I still use it for my to chat with my parents, but yes. when I was chatting with my parents, I saw that there was a record button, and then I tried that, and it works so seamlessly. Oh, sweet! It okay. it like it does it 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 takes care of both the audio and so. Okay. Yeah, it's it's surprisingly <laughs> works well. Um, and I had also checked because I know like I the Skype is a kind of ancient in a way. I I saw like you, it said like you were on here like just uh just yesterday or something. So something was interacting Whoa. since 2018. <laughs> okay, on and off there was some sort of signals being sent amazing wild okay this yeah. is yeah it's trippy and and i i feel like it's one of those it's one of those systems that i've i've like uploaded and deleted a couple times because of how much space it takes up so i might have been it yeah totally um are. how are you <sighs> readjusting to winter after being in springtime for the last month <laughs> Coming back to uh, what was in a massive ice rainstorm yesterday and then covered with snow, six foot, you know, snow ledges <laughs> all around us. Pretty intense. But uh, yeah, overall happy to be back in the home and with, yeah, with the fam. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It was hard work, but it was good work. So yeah, that's, that's where that's I'm at. That's great. How long were you? How long were you in Vancouver for? It was four weeks. Oh wow! Four, four intensive work Monday to Saturday weeks with a nanny watching Daisy mm. the whole time. So yeah, it was full on, but success, success all around, and good seeds sown for the future. So great. It's, great. Yeah. Yeah, the very last meeting I had was with A. Thomas and Josh, and that was great. So it, yeah, it was, and it was one of those two where it was like, is this, is this gonna happen? Are we actually gonna get a chance to talk in person about the project and all these amazing like responses we're getting now from the pitches? And it happened, and we had like a two-hour meeting in the old, I don't know what it's called now, the old Falconettis, but. Uh, yeah, just sitting around drinking water, and the waitress kept coming up saying, "You guys want anything else?" We're like, "No, <laughs> we're good." Just like braining here, just get a brain out, in your little cubby. But yeah, yeah. So that's that's nice too. And this was really great news. Congratulations on the on the release. Yeah. It was. Uh, I mean, I I fully trusted that the the day would come and also very much so the day needed to come along later like it's 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 remarkable it's it's remarkable um yeah timing um 
and you know I just was like reviewing um, some of the notes because there's extensive notes that I have um, and getting back into the zone and and that's that's one of the things like also with this call too because because I was like I want to for the purpose of our call and also for my own purposes of like really really taking the time to really dive in and go go back into the energy as best as I can um you know I I listened to the release uh, all the way through just before our call and we had our technical difficulties which makes perfect sense because when I pressed play I was like oh it's gonna overlap and then I was like Hmm. <laughs> and then just actually a matter of moments, like nearly it's like this this theme which keeps on coming up. And I want to say this like sort of fact of things that are perfectly imperfect. Like if it was like right on the nose of when I ended it, it would be something else. But it also makes total sense that it's just like a little bit extra, you know um breathing room yeah yeah breathing breathing yeah breathing room or i can't even remember what it was but like also like a little nudge forward to a perpetual if it's like a little bit soon too it's like a little bit of like like uh riding a wave like push or something um but um yeah, yeah, super. Thank, thanks for taking the time. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, yeah, I was going, I just like the last thing that I just looked at was some of your um, sort of graphical notes and pictures that oh, I still saved. And yeah, it is interesting because it's, it's, it's like my viewpoint I mean I could say so much and I want to say so much this is like part of the practice of like this is this is this is one of the reasons why it needed to take time um because I wasn't ready and the work wasn't ready um and now I'm grounded enough to actually like no I know I know enough now that time needs to be taken and also there is time now um to do the things of looking back and properly honoring the work and properly like putting the work where it 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 should be and 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 so much more um so all these things just continue to feed back into themselves so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. looking at the notes like it's this looking at like your your notes i'm like there's new insights there's like constantly new insights it's it's its own i like it's its own thing mm -hmm. and it, it keeps on cycling and other things and just like you know depending on where you're at it just keeps on giving and, and revealing and showing and reinforcing in these other ways. Um, and so actually that being said, I'm gonna be taking lots of time to speak about this. I, I wanna I, I wanna like put it over to you. Like how do you just in this moment, how do you feel about it or what are your thoughts in this moment about it? Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, my thoughts in this moment are, damn, why didn't I look back sooner <laughs> over our notes? That's my, my first thought, and I'm like ripping through an email right now to see if I can find a thread that'll pick up, uh, pick up a, yeah, I was like, no, I sent drawings? Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I, I sort of, I mean, I do remember like passing along like the, um, the National Geographic articles about the about the the importance of fire and traditional ways of fire, um, which felt really important at the time. Not not being so invested, I guess, in 
in any kind of environmental statement being made, but really contemplating the, 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 the force and the momentum of fire and how as, as we've shifted our use of it, we have now come to this point where it is so destructive. <laughs> And, and then, of course, in the choreographer mind being like, well, then, and then how can we embody that through movement? What would that look like without going so far out of my own realm of, 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 um, of movement material or like body language? Because I remember, too, this, this beautiful, and I, I keep coming back to this one photograph um, of the of the women, and we're all reaching up and our hands are connected um, in this kind of invisible circle. And we're all reaching essentially towards the stars, but it feels like fire. It feels like this, like these flames of, um, yeah, of energy just pulsing, pulsing out of us. Um, and I guess I'm also recalling in this moment that there was a lovely conversation with Kelly McInnes, who was one of the dancers um, and who, who assisted me in so many ways over the last month. And she was, she was the one who said it. She was like, yeah, weren't we supposed to take gateways on tour? We were supposed to, to like tour it internationally to New Zealand, like back where Louise and Jasmine are from. So, so maybe that has to like, so in the, yeah. And then, and like, that's like, for me, I just see these big waves of like crossing the Pacific ocean over to Aotearoa, New Zealand, all the way out to, yeah, Piha, going out to the beach where freaking Louise is based and seeing what, uh, what an incredible experience it would be to dance that out on the land. Oh, I'm getting heart shifts just thinking about that. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, so that's that's still a seed and a dream that needs uh, its own time, I guess, to manifest. Because it's lain it's lain dormant for me now for for as long as it was since it premiered. We only had that one shot at it. Mm. Yeah, I that makes me think of a, n a number of things, but like it just the last thing you said of like being in your heart. I mean, there it is, like again. Um, and and also tying to that too of of you know you saying, um, you know, I wish it's been so long. I wish I had looked at these things, but like as far as my viewpoint of of the music, it's because it was created in this very pure way. It's it's like it's not going anywhere. Like, and and also you talking about like intentions or possibilities of it going to New Zealand or or any amount of things. Like, that's that's one of my that's like that's one of my like long lasting very very consistent feelings and observations um is that yes like because of the purity that mm. it was created it's it has this indestructibility mm. that is just untied to anything like even in a way see now i'm getting chills i just got like a chill up here um and, and continuing down to my leg, um, you know, which says to me, it's just like, yeah, it's just, it's, it's the truth that it's, I was going to say, and this is a little bit kind of electric and perhaps risky in other ways to say, but actually I've, I've, I've sat with it for so long and, and, and revisited it for so long that it is true and it is actually okay. It's like actually not risky to say that that indestructibility, like you can talk about or you can interact with it in ways that might not be pure or or in ways that just like sort of experimenting and trying things out, like maybe this, maybe that. And then mm -hmm. it interacts and because of the purity, 
it comes it like it can't it can't be destroyed it doesn't like you don't have to treat it with so much preciousness so um you can play with it like not not uh, i think yeah we get it. it's like not with any sort of ill will or or things but just like it it's not uh it's it has its own thing you can't like there's an element of it which can't be it can't be um it can't be altered um and and part of that extending on that too is be is because we're now in the future Comp you know like it it happened that world premiere happened you know the yeah. work happened and nothing can change that not, nothing can alter that yeah. um and like even now like this is i feel like this is like in ways this is obvious but also in other ways it's like this is another example of the reminder of right. like any all these different ways to look at it and consider it it's it's like there's this like principle distilled truth oh like, completely well no completely and that's where it's like so just considering it before our call kind of like after i put daisy down for bed and was coming downstairs um i was thinking how how important it was when i was in the process and i'd had a conversation with another anishinaabe kwe emily monet who was so quick to just be like oh you can't you can't call them grandmothers these are the seven grandfathers and me and my like oh i'm just gonna it, my own lens was like no like you can't do that and and you know you'd be true be be true <laughs> and I remember like feeling so terrible at the time but also recognizing like okay yeah that's the teaching that's the lesson like be humble move on move forward and find the elder who will give you the the direction you need which led me to Gloria, who's been this incredible resource of like awesome laughs, spurts of wisdom, <laughs> lots of joy, and then and then also this grounding in my language, the teachings, the the reason for being um, for being dedicated to moving it forward too, right? Like. So yeah, so just kind of recalling that moment and then also in the in the coming downstairs, I was also like, and look at that. Now I can share the, those conversations with my daughter and she's got the seven grandfathers in her room. Um, when we, you know, when we worked on it, I, I'm sure I had the dream of her in me, in my heart. And a part of that gateway portal was a portal to what it would mean to be the matriarch I am today. Um, you know, I never, I never instilled a, a birthing process in it per se, and that was never my intention. However, in the work lay these um, pockets of, of like, death, destruction, birth, rebirth, death, destruction, birth, rebirth. Um, and then something else about the, the turtle shell and specifically the turtle music that has come, come up again and again. I've, 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 I've accessed it so many times in my phone for, for just moments of just wanting to like calm the fuck down. <laughs> bringing it into movement, bringing it into like the, the warm up of, of whatever space. Um, yeah, something about that one really hits home. Yeah, just thinking about those as I was coming into this conversation. Mm. Yeah, that I think of that turtle one too. Oh. Like I, I think about other ones in other ways, but it actually might be true that when I think about gateways, that's the one that sticks out the most. And the picture in my mind, the all, I, like actually pretty much every time, if not every time, the picture of my mind is a turtle swimming in shallow water in mm. with the sun, the, the sunlight 
um, that was very much a vision oh. in my mind. Um, and I don't, I mean, perhaps you are the one that put that forth, put that idea there. Um, but like one of the reason, like there's lots of different entry points and views of why that comes up. But like, I have honestly a, a point of pride about how I feel that I, that, 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 picture that scenario got like managed to like not manage i actually want to be like actually own like the point of pride of like it it, it got it got in there in the work wow. um and and it's also like as far as like artistic um you know elevation and all the different like levels up that we do like actually using a, a more like traditional or um you know um um traditional might not be the word but i guess like like classical um like an uh, uh something where i i don't know what the word is called there's there's a word for it but when you put in um melody or or a, a musical idea where it actually is not in tune it's not in key okay and yeah. so at the at the start of that is this little like doo -doo 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 -doo, that's like actually not in tune or in phase and that that is it's like very literal like how people explain how to use stuff like that it'll happen in like musicals often okay um to like put inject something that doesn't have place and, and so it really stands out and that little that little doodle of like doo -doo -doo, is the turtle swimming <laughs> awesome. So it's like the water and like the peaceful scenario is there, and then it's like you can it pop. That's why it pops out. And right. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and well, turtle is truth. Of all the grandfathers, that's where. Yeah, it's a nice circle. <laughs> yeah. That truth, and uh, I would say uh, thunder also still stands out. That was a, a really like when I have a really good sound system, I like to play it um, and feel it and feel the power of that. Uh, yeah, the, there's a magnitude to it that was, and and thinking of where it landed in the piece and how we how we were enervating through it was um yeah i mean and like and that just makes me think too about how the process of of creating the work without having the score initially and and what it meant to them like i want to use the word transpose but it was more of like a braiding into like and i'm, I'm using this gesture <laughs> was a braiding into that allowed it to land like just I guess yeah the imperfectly perfect but just that like these were where things began and ended um and at no time like like I remember being really clear like to the dancers there would never be a stop or a exit scene this was we were always in the world that we were creating from the moment we entered the gateway, from the moment we walked through with the light in our hands until that light dimmed. This was this was the world that in in some ways has a semblance to our own creation story. I mean it was it was it was so fucking beautiful to feel that power. <laughs> And I'm gonna and I'm gonna call it that power, but like to feel the power of unveiling the women from their cloaks and being in this in this sphere um, of light that then you know um, dis, uh, distilled itself out to the four corners, which allowed us to right away land in the four directions and then have that sacred space for the ceremony to exist in was like 
yeah, it was so, it was so pure. And it felt, it felt very clear to me too, that when we were in theater, that we could, we could essentially take, take over, take over whatever space we were in and, and make that, make that the space for this ceremony to occur in. Um, simply, simply through the, the synergy of music, movement, light, and what all of that meant to be witnessed. And I remember too, at one point thinking, oh, this needs to be in the round. Like we need witnesses all around us. Um, and then, and then always, and then you just always have to take that jump or that leap as a, as a artist thinking of the audience to like, okay, but who are we, who are we offering this to? And if we're offering it in a, in a performance, in a traditional performance venue, then is there really going to be that option of, of moving people closer or would that take, uh, you know, a whole other leap in, in where we, and where we choose to present it. My cats are fighting. I need to step away one second. Sure. Hey guys. Hey. Interlude. squeakers he gets bullied by the young guy it's tough hey buddy what's that buddy's name squeak squeak <laughs> amazing it's the sound he makes, makes yeah. sense. come here stay with me it's okay anyways i was going off on a bit of a ramble there but that was it was beautiful um yeah, I picked up another few points. I mean, this is also exactly what I personally wanted to do is be reminded of these different things, which like that I had actually forgotten. There's there's lots of like tidbits that the National Geographic that you earlier on mentioned and and also just now how you mentioned how the fluidity um, that being a key thing, which also made the music what it was too because the music all really does have this like linear flow this on un, un, it doesn't it doesn't stop and it weaves um and and also like i'm remembering now as a as a as a point of process that you were asking for like let's have a little bit of fire here and a little bit of water here and how that made sense so i was i was noticing it the last like just listening to it now like how water appears that like rain appears here and there and then fire you know fire appears a little bit and then later on which which to me and actually i feel like it's it's factual is like that's like that's how nature and and life works like it there's something doesn't just appear and then go like there is physical foreshadowing and metaphors that pop in and out like and um and that i mean that might also speak to what made the music be what it is too like that that's that working like I can say honestly that um, not to say that any resistance is is negative, like to remove that. But you said that and I was like, I don't know, like, I don't know if I want to do that. But then having the humility enough and the openness to be like, oh, no, no, that totally works. And like and it's and then the work becomes stronger and more integral um and and also how you said too like i remember i had forgotten about that before when you when you were considering um 
calling the seven grandfathers, the seven grandmothers. I remember that being like, whoa, like that was, that also said a lot, you know, like that, yeah. that learning and, and also how that goes actually right into one of the grandfathers of the humility, like you exercise that and then, then the truth was allowed to exist more and, and not be altered or attempted to be altered. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and deeper respect for, for the entire engagement into the process, right? Like, holy shit. Yeah. Like, it was the thing. I, you know, and, and you and I have spoken about this before, and I've definitely noticed it at, 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 at points before, but, you know, you and you and I, like, our relationship and how we work that that is there is there is a consistent um uh like lessons and learning that we that we both allow for which then goes on to create you know like i want to say integral work again but it's it's much more than that just like ev everything just the the quality increases the the depth the truth increases um and you know that was definitely present in in this project for sure, sure. um and i mean that is also like just speaking of the sort of perpetual nature like we could both look at that and like have our own observations in the moment and comments about that um, at any given point in time. Um, and, you know, speaking for myself and I mean, I, I'm, we're here talking so you can reflect on this too, but like the, the reflecting on that, like me personally, like understanding those things like and that being totally reflective of like what it is that we're actually doing too, like working with these teachings working with other teachings other knowledge like reflecting and working with nature like these that like the metaphors that we're working with and the themes that we're working with like that manifesting like through our relationship and interactions and then all those things lending themselves to one another being like oh and this story this actual linear story happening yeah. um yeah i mean i heard you say yes <laughs> yes um Yeah, it's, I think it's interesting too, just in thinking of the, that, that in the, that in, in the way that it's laying dormant, if, if I think of that through an, a nature metaphor too, that there's, there's a, a deep desire for revival of that, of the spirit of that work, and even, and even the entire program of medicine, um, which comes from this worldview now of of what I've experienced in the last three years, and the growth and the and the kind of and the deepening of of spirit and connection and love, which would be. It's it's just it's it's always interesting to me to imagine what a remount would look like, and and how, I would I would just I would embrace the work in a very different way, and and. And to even imagine, like, could I even work with Louise and Jasmine, knowing that they're, you know, we were able to manage and manifest these residencies for them to come out to Vancouver. But, you know, and, and would I want to recast it? What would that look like? Like, and, and my initial response is, no, absolutely not. It has to be the original women. We are, we are this, this like being of five and, and, and how, yeah, and how and what would that look like? And and then through that is this reminder of like the wise one in me says wait. <laughs> it's great to have that jump and that like that fire leaping forward to want to take it into like yeah the 23 24 season. But I've got other things moving forward, and if this is going to take the time it's going to take, then 
things will fall into place in a good way for it to come together again. Like, I think that's, yeah, that, that's a new, that's a new love for my work that I have <laughs> now too, since, since first making that one, I remember being uh, still quite, it's quite, uh, quite willing to just share a work, even if it hadn't fully cooked, which is what one of my mentors described my work as. She's like, eh, it's a little undercooked. <laughs> now I'm like, okay, you know, that thing's slow burn on the back burner, take their time, cook it. 350 for as long as they need to cook <laughs> before sharing with, uh, with, uh, with witnesses, with the audience. I, I fully resonate with that. And, and now I'm also feeling, I'm feeling that in my heart too. And like, again, like this, the lessons like keep on unveiling and, and showing themselves, like seeing how I didn't see or consider this before, but you saying that, like there's such parallels and in, in our experiences and, and treatments of things like this, this work coming out now too, being like, it totally echoes and reflects like what you're saying of being, yeah, being patient and, and allowing things to be. And, you know, I have my own thoughts when you're saying like, it needs to be the original five women. Um, the truth will reveal, you know, and, and it's, it's this refined practice that's informed by wisdom and experience of, of like, not pushing or pulling or rushing to interpret that, like just sitting and, and, and waiting and, and also not being passive, you know, being being active but not beyond one's means or capacity or 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 linear time just you know waiting for the wind to be right um and and looking for the wind and considering the wind and also maybe building structures that will help you interpret the wind better like all all these things like placing yourself where the wind might be more possible to come you know like Oh yeah, you have to be ready for that door when it opens, right? Yeah. Well, and that's I mean, that's actually one of the keys right there too is is being ready, like actually truly being ready, like undercooked or 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 not. Um and I mean, there's threads that I could I could go off of that too, but also completely to the theme of exactly what we're talking right now. I'm like, it's not, it's not totally appropriate. It's not, it's not for now. So reining it in. <laughs> um, also what you said about medicine, am I pronouncing that right? Medicine? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious to know more about that now because also talking about time, like I understood that to be a certain thing before, and you just had said how your understanding of it has changed and evolved and revealed. Yeah, well, I mean, the the opening solo, uh, Rematriate, was my, was my like homily to this desire to be a mother and, worked through yeah I worked through some some of the parallels I was learning about and, and experiencing through the land shaping shaping itself to receive nature and bring forth you know it's it's next it's next of kin um it was also a little, I mean, it was a little bit of a dark piece too. I, I remember working with Alicia's visuals and really feeling like, feeling the cloth over my body and wear, wearing it so that I could be the, the beast. So that I, I had a, 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 a space to release and relinquish her. 
also. So that there was there was a lot going on, like psychologically for me through that through that solo, which which I wonder now. Like I, I look back on that one, and I I feel like it has it has lived its life, um, and it and its its medicine has worked its way through me. The and the the place. Wow. Yeah. Hmm right out my body um the place that it held in opening gateways was also um like a uh, uh it was an appropriate move and it was what it was what that work like gateways is what that work needed to to kind of to be diminished or like uh, extinguished even is there's there's something in that one where the light really it comes down and it's it's just this visual and the and the mouth coming through the fabric, and then here comes gateways to like clear all that space and and, and set a new light into the space, um, ending on this image of you know the two women reaching towards one another while the two other well the three other women are are on their knees just shaking time and space. <laughs> in their hands. Um, yeah. So it was, I mean, it was absolutely, it was soul work. But the, I mean, the process of, of that, of medicine was, was soul work. Um, and I, I remember times working on Rematriate, feeling the longing for the group piece, for the ensemble, for the, for the working with other bodies in space. Mm -hmm. Which is a like, yeah, it's a, it's, it's, it's a luxury. <laughs> and, and when you find those collaborators, when you find those, those bodies that, that are, are so wonderful to work with, it's like, it's, it's a, it's a real, it's a real dream come true. And it really was a dream come true to work with Louise and have her bring her, her mom, like, her Maori cosmology into the work too, but in, again, in a very gentle way. She never, she never wanted to come into it as a as a co-creator, but as a collaborator and as an interpreter. For for her, I remember her mentioning, and I can I can speak to this, you know, honestly, that she enjoyed being a dancer in somebody else's work, having been a choreographer of, of you know so many of her own works and other works. Um, and I remember being very, very humbled and like full of love <laughs> in that moment for this experience to work with someone I loved um, and that they were, they were willing to work with me in that way. Yeah. And then the openness and the generosity of, of Kelly, Leanne and Jasmine who, you know, having, having not grown up with the same cultural heritage or or maybe, yeah, just maybe really in, 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 their, in their willingness and their giving to open up to what it meant to bring spirit into the space and into the creation process and the way we all did was, oh, it's just thinking about it. Yeah, it was really, it's really emotional. <laughs> it is emotional. It's it's intense and i mean i'm hesitant to say any words about it like it's 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 important that's what i wanted to say i'm not I, i'm not going to hesitate on saying that um it's important for a number of reasons um and it's really again the depth that i'm just personally receiving from hearing you talking about um, work, work that we collaborated on before that that led to this. It's it it just makes such sense. It makes such sense, and it and it brings clarity to process. Like also, like we had already touched on before. Uh, before is like nothing just happens like that, and and there needed to be precursor there needed to be an initial 
things that happened. Um, and, and actually, uh, honoring, um, and respecting, um, and giving, giving value to things that are undercooked and messy and how they are you know, like nothing, like, again, like nothing happens like that. You need to, you need to create mess. You need to explore. You need to exercise and get stuff out there and move it away and, you know, bring it to the surface and, and, yeah, exercise it. Um, and it's really the the sort of the binary difference of of what you were saying about how that rematriate is is done and the and the medicine has worked itself out and the process has has come to a completion, you know, next to other things which we're acknowledging that are perpetual and actually still have life. Yeah. Like you know, those those two things are of um, I'm just going to say it now, like perhaps I'm wrong, but to me right now, they feel of like equal value, you know, like you need to honor. Just as much the stuff that's incomplete and the stuff that's messy, like you're honoring yourself, you're honoring life, you're I acknowledging it. Um, and yeah, that speaks to. Um, you know, us together in our collaborative journey. Um, and it reminds me, like, I don't mind saying now be, uh, at all because I'm at the point of, like, wisdom and experience enough to say, like, yeah, like, I wasn't. That that work for me also, like, wasn't perfect. And um, in in a number of ways, you know, and and but it's still... I consider it to be beautiful work. Also, in particular, that 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 piece rematriate. Um, that's something that I actually go back to, and I and actually I that will see the light of day. Absolutely, it's like okay. undeniable. Like that that piece in itself is deeply beautiful, and and it actually does does uh, did manage to get realized. You know, like and, and yeah. I mean and 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 have its own like lasting perfection which needs to um keep on um but it feels like you wanted to say something yeah so i i'm not sure if i ever i, I feel like i freaking hope i did but right before i left vancouver and i was six months pregnant with daisy we we redid we remounted crow's nest in the theater at the Colch for filming so this would have been August 2020. Um, okay. Maddie, Maddie Harris was one of our technicians. And because I, I remember being like, hey, this is one of my this, this is like one of Michael and I's works. This is all his music. It sounded really great in there. But the experience of doing that work pregnant, I refused to do the opening solo. <laughs> it's like we're just going to just going to cut a different version of that and put it into the film and I did all the rest of it um and uh and and it's and it's interesting too because I I look at and I'm I'm just sort of reflecting here but I look at that work and I I know crow's nest like it's got so much medicine in it for communities to to recognize and that isn't that isn't just mine that's what rosemary brings to it that's what the story brings to it. That's what uh, Emily's character, like the embodiment of shadow self brings to it. Um, and how we're, we're on, we're on a little bit of a ledge with that work right now where I've got, I've, I still have interest from communities up in Northern BC to bring it there, but I don't know if I'm willing to do the work of being in that character again. <laughs> Because oh. it feels so far removed, I, one, like once again, from where I am today. And I remember even doing it as, you know, as, as an expecting mother being like, wow, well, there's parts of this that I just need to be completely removed from. <laughs> um, 
And then the other parts, and specifically rematriate that end solo, where I'm like revisiting the places that she was. We did so much, like we, oh, ooh, chills. I remember being with Emily and Rosemary and we've been like, okay, we need cedar medicine. We need to make sure the eagle feathers are down. <laughs> like, like, I've got Daisy in me right now. <laughs> like going into, going into shadow space, death space in that work. But then having, you know, having the, the seraphic fucking voices of the women holding me there it was like, it was intense. It was, it was a beautiful, it was a beautiful moment. And I was so glad we were doing it for film and not audience because we could do a second go mm. <laughs> on it too. Um, but yeah, just interesting to think because yeah, Rematriate's another one that I pop on my phone into a studio any chance I get just to hear it again and like let it, let it breathe with me. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... All that you all that you said there and the energy of that, like intense is the accurate word and and wow. it's 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 interesting perspective. Like I'm I can relate to that in a in a number of ways of like I, I like how you said, yeah, it's 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 important it's important to go back there, but you know, it makes me think of just earlier when we were talking about timing, like that's definitely not something that's just like, oh yeah, I'd be ready to go in that energy. You know, like you gotta be careful and dis and discerning. Um and 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 period on that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um yeah. and it's like that actually is you know that I, I i i might reflect on that and work with that more like i can like feel i feel that there is um lessons to be learned there you know like there's not just lessons but there's there's unsettled energy um and it's it's not for now i mean maybe that's just repeating but um i did have um, oh, what, one of my more conclusive thoughts, because that actually makes me think back to things that are settled for me and like my personal journey is that there's been lessons and things that I have overcome that were that were challenges um, for however long periods of time. And then I overcame them. Then I sort of learned and final finally finalized those things. And then there need needed to be an amount of time that happens, amount of rest and settling before going back and being able to talk about those things in a clear and safe way. Like, I, I definitely have an awareness of a lot of things of like, no, the time is not there yet. Like, it still needs to settle. And, you know, and and it being constructive and useful to go back to those things but like no definitely not yet but yeah. that distinct period of like just purely settling of like purely allowing space and to fully integrate into the newer self that has learned those things and like really feel out all and fill in all the gaps of that the confidence and the new thing before like the risk what you could actually name one of those risks is if you're not completely formed and you still have gaps that are filled out if you go back then things might get back in you know yeah. to, just to name one thing but yeah yeah um interesting i yeah. I, I really appreciate that image actually yeah mm. it's it's been a it's certainly something that i can think about in coming I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to name it. So in returning to Vancouver and seeing and feeling ghosts of my past self as I'm returning to it now in this present self was like, oh, my nervous system was shot. I got, I got this horrible, like, oh, in the back of my neck. And the first time I speak to a grandmother, she's like, protect your neck, honey. <laughs> like... Wu-Tang. 
Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Delana Gale Bowen, love her, love her to death. And uh, yeah, it was, she's like, you know, and what she said was so accurate. The next thing she said was, because there's lots of in-betweens here. And I was just like, oh, right. Like, I didn't, I, but my brain in coming there did not think about that at all. And I really could have done better work in preparing to fill in all my gaps. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, coming, coming back and feeling, coming back home to where home is now um, and feeling like the, the calling back in has been so important um and and has been done um just made it very clear to me what what sort of what sort of shielding work needs to be done now when i when i do enter back into spaces where ghosts of myself still exist <laughs> and i can see them on the corners and i was just like oh shit hot oh, girl <laughs> wow yeah speaking of related but also separate in, intense experience <laughs> um yeah interesting i'm just feeling I'm, I'm i'm saying like uh uh you know like we've invoked some things i'm just to i think it, yeah it's okay like to say like let's put a little salve on it and uh and heart love good things greenery we're glitching it's it's the moment this ah <laughs> there there you go um i was and i was also going to say too uh, yeah i mean the, hey i mean that just says to me like there's other things there's other energy around and acknowledging that and, and thanking that you know like there are there are things supporting there are things and not even things unsayable supporting thank you because that actually now me i you know i thought when a moment ago i was like it's going to take a little bit of a journey but actually now i feel i feel good um and then the second thing I was going to say is like, I feel, or actually two, uh, a second thing with an A and B is that there is, you know, I had the thought, I'm like, oh, there's got to be a, a part two to this. But the amendment to that is also like, it's just, the story is ongoing. It's just like, well, there's just more parts. It just like, it just keeps going. <laughs> you know, like no need to rush or like say like, ah, you know, like this, this can be a moment in time and, and, and that's that. And, and when the next time comes around and, um, and, and then that's also to say is I'm just, we're, we're nearing like an hour. So like, I, I feel like it, it feels good to sort of close, close, close this off. Absolutely. Uh, and also I just need to bounce back of oh, because just to say like I mean I really do look forward to parts B, C, D and and all throughout the alphabet and beyond um, with you and you know with us and all the things um, and yeah again and again and again thank you thank you thank you thank yeah. you it's it's a, it's been great to chat and i do really appreciate going back into into the into the work in this way um it's it's gonna be nice it's gonna be nice to feel it live in me tonight <laughs> beautiful yeah we'll talk again soon then yeah yeah Good night. Indeed. Good night.